chances are you've probably heard more about climate change in the past couple of years than you ever have. Speaking of, perhaps you know that last December, the world made strides after the United Nations climate change talks that were held in Paris. Okay, so what does all of this mean? All 196 nations agreed to cut greenhouse gases to keep the global temperatures from rising, and rich countries will pledge billions of dollars to poor countries to help them stay away from fossil fuels. Of course, here in the U.S., we tend to hear more about what our country is doing to combat climate change. What we don't always hear about is what other countries are up to. So we thought that we would enlighten our viewers this morning on just what the West Indies Island country of Nevis is doing. So joining us now is Mr. Mark Brantley, who is the Deputy Premier of Nevis and Minister of Foreign Affairs of St. Kitts, Nevis, as well as Mr. Bruce Cutright, who is heading up some of Nevis's energy efforts. Welcome to Great Day Washington, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. So you say that Nevis is going to be the greenest country by the time it's 2018. Tell us about that. Well, Nevis discovered about a decade ago that we have geothermal energy. And as a consequence of that, we've embarked on a process to try and develop that energy. We are at a point now where we have a commitment from the developers that we should have geothermal energy and be able to offer that to our residents and businesses by 2018. Uh, what that would mean, based on our current consumption and based on projected growth and based on the amount of geothermal energy that's available, it will mean that come 2018, Nevis goes entirely green. And that would make us the greenest place on planet Earth. It would demonstrate our commitment to the climate change uh, commitments that have been made globally. But it also would say for us as a small island developing state that as a government and as a people, we're taking our role seriously in saving our planet, in offering a cheaper alternative and a renewable alternative to our people for electricity generation. I have listed here geothermal energy is something that you talk a lot about. Can you tell us what it is and how it works? Certainly, geothermal energy is, is really uh, electrical energy production derived from the normal heat flow from Earth's interior. Uh, Nevis is exceptionally blessed because it is a dormant volcano and the core of the island is still very hot. We can extract that heat to generate energy using uh, binary cycle generators. And from that, there is no combustion. There is no carbon dioxide generation. It's completely green and completely renewable. So what's the technology that ne uh, Nevis is, excuse me, is using to convert the energy? Um, these are called binary cycle generators. Uh, in essence, you extract the heat from the subsurface with a series of wells the hot fluids are pumped through a secondary heat exchanger, whereas a fluid drives a turbine. The, the water that's extracted from the deep subsurface is injected back into the reservoir, and uh, the secondary fluid is cooled and recycled again. So there are no emissions at all at the surface of the Earth. Gentlemen, I will tell you that there are eyes on the TV screens here. We're really interested in this, but also tell us how this is affecting the U.S., what you're doing there in Nevis. Well, the U.S. has been, of course, a constant partner, as it should be. We have a, a centuries-old umbilical cord connecting us to the United States. One of your founding fathers and the first Secretary of the United States Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, was born in Nevis. And, of course, I'm in New York now, and those of you who can should go see the play Hamilton, based on the life and times of this great division, first great immigrant and great American, Alexander Hamilton. And so we've always had that relationship stretching across the centuries. Now, what we're doing with geothermal, uh, of course, Bruce is here. He represents an American company. This is a company that we have given a concession to, that we've negotiated a power purchase agreement with. And so they'll be using American technology, uh, American expertise to develop geothermal in Nevis. But also, I would like to publicly thank the United States government, because they, too, have been involved in this process in providing technical support. I believe it's demonstrative of America's continued effort to make the Caribbean and the world a better place, to assist us in terms of what we're doing so that we can become self-sufficient in our energy production, and certainly for America to have, if you will, a success story of sorts in the context of public-private sector partnership in the region for renewable energy projects. It is my hope that Nevis will become the model for other such projects in the Caribbean and Latin America. Well, I wish I could say on behalf of our government, thank you so much. But I will say on behalf of Great Day Washington, thank you for being on our show, gentlemen. And uh, I heard that Nevis is a great place to visit, so we'll have to look into that more, too. Well, now we'll turn.